On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. We are going to be doing the Corrupted Gauntlet in this video. Yes, this is a big money maker so there is a big chance to make money or have to give away a lot of money to you guys. And what item we're going to be going for is the Crystal Armor Seed. This is a 1 in 50 drop rate and it's currently worth around 7 million. But there is another item on the drop table of the Corrupted Gauntlet which is 1 in 400 which is worth 150 million which is the Enhanced Weapon Seed. If I get this and I do not get the Armor Seed... I have to give away 75 million, so the stakes are very big. Now quickly before we get into the video, of course, I have the giveaway to do from my last video of 6,060,000 GP. And we had 153 entries, which is actually double the amount of the last giveaway I did. So that is really nice to see some engagement there from you guys. So let's pick the winner, let's click start and see who is going to be the winner of the 6,060,000 GP. And here it is. This guy said, Kill Solra, love the videos, RuneScape name Worm Farmer. Perfect, Alabama Thrasher, that is an interesting name, congratulations to you. And the next clip will be me giving you the money. And here is of course me trading 6 million to Worm Farmer in the game, or Alabama Thrasher, the legend. Hope you enjoy that money and uh, good luck with slaying, as I can see you're using the Slayer helmet. Now of course I'm going to be doing the Corrupted Gauntlet is I'm going to be getting the tier 1 armor, I think it's good enough because I'm nearly maxed combat, and then get the tier 3 weapons. But if I do manage to fail and I get the really bad loot, because if you do succeed you get the good loot, if you fail and die on the last boss you get really really bad loot, for example like 10 trout or something like that, that is not going to be counted towards the 50 attempts I'm going to do, because that is not a chance at getting the crystal armor seed, so it would not really make sense. I have not done this in a while, but that was a pretty clean run, honestly. Pretty decent time on that for not having done it in a long time. And I did not die, that's the most important thing. And I probably got a lot of these achievements. Yes, they did change them recently, so it makes sense. First one is worth like 150-200k maybe, but uh, we're going to be ending at 103 overall KC. I think this was actually a perfect run, so I think, yes, there's the achievement. Perfect Corrupted Hunlef, very nice, already uh, this early into the grind. And we get a Crystal Weapon Seed, are you kidding me? That's the same drop rate as the Armor Seed, but considerably cheaper, 332k. Still a good amount of money, but uh, missed on the drop table. We are now 5 kills in and I have not died yet and honestly I don't think I'm going to die that much because last time I did the Corrupted Gauntlet I did it with way worse stats, no rigor, no augury, so I had to always get the tier 2 armor, which actually made it kind of hard on time, sometimes I didn't get enough food to do it, but now I just do it in tier 1 armor every time, tier 3 weapons as I said, and it's really reliable, so I should not really be dying much unless I really screw up. So let's see what chest number 5 is going to be, let's open it, and we get some mediocre stuff. Oh, look at that! The first uh, Dragon Halberd of the grind. I'm probably going to get a few of these. They are the best Alkyballs you can get here, which is 150k. So we are now at chest number 10, and I want to make a quick mention about the Crystal Shards. I am actually going to count each of these as 12,000 GP, because you can actually crush them and make super combat potions. I don't have the level for it, but you technically can do that, and every single one of them is worth 12,000 according to the wiki if you do that. So that's going to be quite a lot of money from these, but uh, let's see what chest number 10 is going to be. It is going to be some Alkyballs again. It's not crazy good or anything, but I think this is the fastest prep so far. Two minutes left, so let's see if we can get a personal best. Yeah, that's not happening. That was a mega, mega slow hunt left. 422, and my personal best is overall 850, and that was a 944. And another Dragon Halberd, not bad loot, but uh, yeah, I definitely had a very bad hunt left. If I get equally fast prep next time and a faster hunt left, I can do it. 
Actually, back-to-back -back runs here, and I have 241, 240, 239, okay, is where I'm entering. Yeah, this is, could definitely be a personal best. I do have a feeling this was slightly faster, not massively, but maybe under the four-minute mark. Let's see if we get the kill here, and let's have a look at the time. It is 350, and yes, personal best by 10 seconds. Very nice, and let's see what the loot is going to be. It is going to be... Elite Clue Scroll, right, that is a 1 in 20, and I will of course do all of them. Quite interestingly, the uh, Elite Loot table was buffed very recently, so it's going to be interesting to see what we get. So all the changes to Elite Clue Scrolls that they recently made will be on the screen right now. You can read all of them if you're interested, but let's see what the first Elite Clue Scroll is going to be for this video. And it is, oh my god, that's a lot of uniques. Yuri's Hat, how much is this worth? 88k. Uh, but it is two uniques, very nice. I think uniques from Elite Clue Scrolls is kind of hard to get, so that is very nice. How does it look? Nice. Oh, another Elite Clue Scroll, very nice. Always fun to do this. I've been pretty lucky with these so far, which is nice to see. Always fun to open them. We could indeed complete it, and here we go. This is the casket, let's see what we get. And we get a Master Clue Scroll, very nice, and a Black Dead Body G, which is a unique for the collection log, and 188k worth. Very unfortunate, I have to make a blood rune and I only have 61 rune crafting and I am actually on step number 7 of this master, so unfortunately I will have to drop that for this time. No way, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I got an enhanced crystal weapon seed. I'm on KC number 24, 152 million. Oh my god, dude, if I do not get an armor seed now, I am so screwed. That is insane, though. I did not expect to see that, even though I mentioned it in the intro, that is just nuts. Man, I still can't believe that actually happened. We're on 30kc now, no armor seed yet, so I have not won the challenge yet. Chest number 30, and we get some standard stuff, nothing too great. 20 more to go, man, if I do not get this armor seed, it is going to be a big giveaway, I can say that. Oh, crystal weapon C number two. That is unfortunate. It is, of course, one in 50, same as the armor seed, and that was KC 36. So only 14 more to go. We are getting very close to done with this grind. That is KC number 40, so 10 more to go after this one. And uh, let's see what chest number 40 has for us. Hopefully, something very juicy. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll, that is pretty juicy. Hopefully we can complete it. By the way, I did have to bank everything the last Clue Scroll I did. That's why the inventory is a bit uh, more scarce, but I have everything tracked, of course. Third Elite Casket for the video. What are we going to get from this one? Maybe a Mimic? Let's have a look at it. Open and... Oh, that's quite a lot of money. 354k. That's really good for an Elite Clue Scroll. Without a doubt, this is the fastest run I've done. Let's see, 746. That was insanely fast. 449 prep and 256 hunt left, and we get nothing too great. But wow, that is a really, really fast one. I was kind of curious after that to see what the actual combat achievement times are for this, and the master one is 730. So I was only 16 seconds off that. Uh, but the Grandmaster one is 6 minutes and 30 seconds, so that is quite a bit off, but uh, in the future I will probably try to go for that. So we are getting really close to the end, we only have 3 more chests to open, and I'm going to put all the loot that we currently have on the screen right now. Let's open chest number 48 and see what happens. Are we going to get the armor seed in this one? We are not, only 2 more chances to go. Alright, 102 KC now, and only two more chests to go until we are done with this grind. Let's see what we get for the second to last. No armor seed yet, only one more chance to go, otherwise bye bye 80 million. No, that was the first death, I was so- oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, damn it. I actually thought I was going to go deathless the entire time, but then I end up dying. That is so unfortunate. But uh, what is the loser chest going to be? Adamant plate legs. Let's all talk about it. This time we did not screw up. Here we go. One more hit. Yeah, I think that's the last one. All right. Oh, man. This chest, chest number 50, is going to be a 80 million chest worth. If I get the armor seed, I get 80 million. If I do not, well... I have to give away 80 million plus to you guys.
So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's rip off the band-aid. Chest number 50 is going to be no armor seed. It is decided. I lost the challenge. And it is time to check out how much I'm going to be giving away to you guys. This is ridiculous. Alright, so the end loot is on the screen right now. It says 51, of course, because I did one failed run, and that is just the adamant plate legs, not making much of a difference. But I did say in the beginning, we're going to be counting the crystal shards as 12,000 GP each, which is roughly 4.1 million. And uh, adding everything together for the Elite Clue Scrolls and the Gauntlet, and giving you guys all of the money from the Elite Clue Scrolls, the overall value of all of this is around 163 million, and the exact amount I'm going to be giving away is right here. 82,309,611 GP. Let's put it in here. Uh, that is quite a lot of money. And as always, the way you win this is by leaving a comment, being subscribed and liking the video. The comment has to include what activity you would like to see me do in the future and your RuneScape name below. Make sure that you have your private on or that you have me added in game to be able to contact you. My in-game name is Alonesome. And uh, yeah, best of luck to all of you guys on this massive amount of money. But I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. And nonetheless, regardless, even if I have to give away all this money, I still made 82 million myself. And that is going to go into nice gear to be able to do bigger grinds even faster and post even more content, which is great. It's a win-win for everyone. And until next time, guys, take care.